I don't have a table, so I'm gonna use like a director chair. Nah, that doesn't work. Stupid cable. God damn freaking cable. Stop being so stupid. Bam. Does this work? Why is there a shadow here? Yeah, your shadow. Where is the shadow coming from? What creates shadows? Is that my head? Oh, it's from the camera. <laughs> hmm. That would make sense. Is this the POV? Honestly, this POV is kind of sick. I mean, the background is kind of lame because you can see my desktop, but um, how do you, how do I uh? uh how do I make? Uh, how do I make the background? <coughs> Excuse me. How do I make the background better? And you guys just suck it up. Ah! Camera? Where'd you go? Ah, Jesus Christ! This, everything's breaking around me, man. This might like my life. Yo, camera, do not shut off. Oh, I think it's because I'm I have this on battery mode and it's gonna shut off. Okay. Welcome to my YouTube channel of unboxing, not unboxing. What the hell I'm doing? Puzzle solving. Focus. Focus. There you go. I need to talk in a nice, relaxing voice because that's how all the YouTube channels do it. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be solving this one-of-a-kind Japanese puzzle box that I found from Google. It cost me about $70 on this sketchy ass website that I came across. What a marvelous box this is. Check out the detailing. Wow. Let's see what we're working with here. At the top you see it is carved to look like a piano. Okay, all right. What else? Why, why is there a shadow on the left side? God, hang on, let me bring in an extra light.
Stupid camera! Prevent sleep. Prevent sleep. God, I hope I didn't put my address on here. You guys see prevent sleep anywhere? Any camera experts in here? Eco power saving. If I want 30 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And I just set up uh, this light stick. Actually, I have a little torch. Check this out. This is my flashlight slash fleshlight. As you can see, uh, on three sides, there are little uh, areas where it lights up. So if you go ahead and uh, press the power button on this bad boy here. Ooh. Oh, and not only that, you can open it up. God, it's so fucking bright on my eyes. Uh, how do you open this bad boy up? Yeah, open up, come on. like that uh -huh. and it's kind of like a like a windmill of light Aww. all right there we go that's less light now less shadow casting Perfect. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to my puzzle box solving YouTube channel. This is your host, this guy's toast. And today we have this exquisite, one of a kind Japanese puzzle box called the piano. Let's take a look at what we're looking. Let's take a look at what we're working with here. I see there's a uh, two knobs at the front the one on the right you can kind of turn you can turn this but this one is set oh my god my hands are tired <sighs> hang on yeah and you rest my arms okay <laughs> and here we have a big knob in the center that also just spins around cool all right on the left side, we have some detailing with some dark and light wood. Same on the other side. On the back, we have a little hinge here. So most likely this thing's going to pop out or the thing below might pop out here. <coughs> this top part seems to be giving some bit of slack. You can tell that it's meant to be open at the top here. And at the very top, we have what looks like piano keys. Now, you can't press on them. These, you know, they're not buttons you can press. There's three silver knobs as well. You can kind of turn each of them. And what looks like a hole here to stick something into. Okay, wow. Hmm. arms I need something to rest my arms because right now I'm just holding it up and we're back with the puzzle box all right let's go ahead and uh, spin this around okay if you bring it all the way to the right it gets tight so this is like tight now I can't spin it any further if I go all the way to the left, does it come out?
Nope. It just keeps going to the left. Tell us, remove the keyboard and put it on the table. Hmm. Let me try that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. I'll bring the light closer too. Hmm. Well, I, the thing is, I don't like the light reflecting off the monitor. Which I think I can solve by... Okay, now it's too much light. Let's reduce the light amount just a little bit. Ah! Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, back with... Back, uh, back at it with the puzzle box. Hmm. Alright, uh, oh, you can push, oh, there we go, that's some give. You can push this up a little bit. See? But this little screw is in, oh, you can, oh. You can kind of wiggle it just a little bit. I'm not sure if it's meant to wiggle this much. You can almost lift this up. You can push, push, oh, wait, hang on. You push it and it says piano box. Let's try touching the box all around to see if we can find any uh, secret compartments. This thing is pushed out ever so slightly. All right, let's uh, let's look at the front. For, oh, look at this! The left nail is longer than the right nail. What does that tell you? If we, oh, oh! If we keep spinning this. Oh, here we go. We got one of the nails out. Hmm, making progress. Now we take this and we... I don't, I don't... Oh! Get in there. A little thing is sticking out, but I I can't. Uh, it doesn't work because they're the same uh, same width. So we got this, but that's all we have so far. Let's go ahead and put it off to the side. Maybe it'll be useful later. Not turnable. I don't think unscrewing that particular nail changed anything. Hang on. Yeah. 
Because why would it? There's a hole down the middle. Like you see it here, there's a tiny hole. If I pull on this really hard, there's no doubt I can snap it. Let's shake it a bit. Turn it all the way to the right. All the way to the right. All the way to the right. Huh, it doesn't stop spinning. Oh, it just keeps going forever. Okay, maybe depending on how we screw this, how much we rotate this, certain parts of the piano becomes accessible. Open. Open you god damn you god just just fucking open man come on please just please just open it please just come on please <sighs> Can you unscrew the top? Oh. Can you watch you watch you if you pulled at it really hard. No, no, no. Doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Now we got. We, I mean, we 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 did one thing, and maybe with this, I don't fucking know, man. Like pull on it, or push it in. Do I do I, do I push? Uh, maybe something's in the back. Oh God. Jeez. As long as the screw is in, we can't push the black part out. So, I mean, when we flip it upside down, it pops out and we grab it. And maybe we spin it out. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Does not want to come out. Take a screwdriver and unscrew these two nuts. I feel like that's cheating. That's that's cheating, right? That's gotta be cheating.
the key must be in the turning. Maybe if we turn this, it'll come out. My chat, let me put you on the screen. Hey, that's you guys in the background. Are you guys saying anything smart? Nope. All right. Fade him. <sighs> I am going to try pressing on all these dark spots. The front part seems really weak. I feel like if you lift up the front part, you can kind of almost slide it out. Like look at look at this. You see this minor wood here? That means the only thing locking the front part in place The only thing locking the front part in place, like this this part, is this little wood peg. And it's the same on this side. So you're supposed to be able to lift, lift this bad boy up. But what's stopping that? This thing and this thing. But you can't pull it. You can only turn this. You can't you can't pull this either. You can't push this, you can't pull it. Wait, actually you can push it. I mean you can push it a little bit. And you can spin this. I'm trying to figure out if this has anything to do with anything. Because I can spin it. Like, I can keep spinning it. But nothing happens. Put the pin in the hole, it doesn't fit. I thought about that. Oh, oh, wait, I feel like, oh, the thing that's blocking this from being pushed up is this small metal thing, right? And we can make the small metal thing peek out by flipping upside down. And now that it's peeking out, maybe? We can push it more. Okay, like this is as far. Oh, I can push it this far. I can push it this far, right? 
and I can use this to hold it in place. Okay. And now this thing is perma sticking out. What does this accomplish? Well, now we see the words piano box more clearly. Can I screw this so that it latches onto something? Or maybe it's just to hold. Oh, 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 now it allows it to be unscrewed. That's insane. I don't know how the mechanics of this works. Okay. Which a lot. <gasps> oh. Huh? Wait, did we, did we solve the whole thing? Oh, that was it? Woohoo! Yo, I paid 70 bucks for this, man. I mean, it is very cool. Let's see. Oh, I think it's like a magnet. And the magnet was allowing it not to be screwed or something. And then with. Oh, when you, oh, I don't really know the ideas of it, but that's pretty cool. That's neat. Now here's, here's the thing. We try and put this together again and challenge some other people to do it. Oh my God. No, not my feet. You gotta pay money to see that. Huh, can you put this back together? I see it is magnets. The magnet holds it in place. When you put this in, the magnet holds it in place, allow allowing it to be screwed. Huh. You should put a prize in. Yeah, I'll put like, I don't know, a hundred. A hundred, a hundred dollars. I mean, I can, I can throw a hundred bucks in there. Yeah. Hey, wow. That was easy to put back together. So the solution is 
you remove this screw, you turn it upside down, you push the piano up, put the key in the hole, twist this, and that's it. Now what? <laughs> for those who missed it, let me show uh, my rust drop for next weekend. Boom. God, it's, it's, a f it's fucking beautiful. It's in the chat. Look at that. Look at that. It's for the 